We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, All Things Shannon. Today I'm here to share with you how I made this fish and grits. You can serve this for breakfast, brunch, or any time of day. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with your family and friends, and leave a comment. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. It will let you know each time I post a video. And you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at All Things Shannon. Let's get cooking. Let's get started on the grits. To my pot, I added one cup of milk and also I added one cup of chicken broth. The milk is going to give our grits that creamy taste and the chicken broth is going to give it flavor. Now I'm adding two cups of grits. I have my fire set on low to medium heat. I'm gonna put a lid on top, but let this cook for about five to eight minutes until the liquid cooks out. This is the grits that I'm using. It's the Jim Dandy 5 Mini Grits. I picked this up at my local Walmart. This is how the grits is looking. Now I'm adding 3 tablespoons of butter. Now I'm adding a little bit of Creole seasoning and black pepper to taste. Don't add too much because we will be seasoning the fish. Mix together. Look how creamy that looks from the milk, the chicken broth, and the butter. It's still not finished because I need to add my finishing touch to it. <laughs> Now I'm adding the finishing touch to my grits and I'm adding cheese and the cheese that I'm using today is the Fiesta blend. You can use the cheese of your choice. Let me show you guys how it looked. This is how the grits turn out. Nice and creamy and cheesy. Ooh, I cannot wait to eat. The grits is all done. Let's start on the fish. I have three tilapia fillets that I already cleaned and dried. Now I'm seasoning with Tony Saturated Creole seasoning, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and paprika.
With my clean hands, I'm rubbing the spices onto the fish. Repeat the same thing on the other side. To my pan, I'm melting two tablespoons of butter. The butter is all melted, now I'm adding the fish. Let these cook for two minutes on each side. This is how the fish is looking. Now I'm turning them over and let them cook another two minutes on the other side. This is how the fish is looking. The fish is all done. Now I'm taking them out of the pan. As you can see, the fish is breaking up a little bit, but that's okay because it's fresh. It's letting me know that I'm eating fresh fish. <laughs> In the same pan that I used to fry the fish, I added just a little bit of butter. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm adding half of a small onion that I chopped. Mix together until the vegetables get soft. It smells so good in here. I wish you guys can smell it through the camera. <laughs> Now I'm adding about two tablespoons of flour. This is going to thicken the sauce. Now I'm adding half and half.
I'm using my fork to break up those bits at the bottom of the pan. Now I'm adding a little bit of parsley to make it pretty. Now I'm seasoning the sauce. Don't add too much seasoning because our grits are already seasoned and the fish is seasoned. But I'm still using the same seasoning that I use to season the fish. And that is the Tony Saturated Creole seasoning, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and paprika. If you see where your sauce is starting to thicken, you can add more of the half and half. Let this simmer on low heat for five minutes. Now it's time to plate up the food. I'm adding the grits first. I'm adding two pieces of the tilapia. Now I'm pouring the sauce on top. That looks so good. I cannot wait to eat. When I tell you guys you have to try this recipe, you have to try it. Trust me on this one. Now I'm adding parsley on top to make it pretty and also you can use shallots if you like. Okay guys, there you have it. This is how my fish and grits turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and today don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your family and friends and leave a comment and don't forget to hit that bell notification. It will let you know each time I post a video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at all things Shannon. Until next time, bye guys.